Okay, I think I have something. Are you ready? Hello? Hey! Kinda like... Good. How does this sound for the opening? Straight Outta Compton is a movie about EDE, played by J-Dog, Dr. Dre, played by Tabalt, and Ice Cube, played by Ice Cube Jr., coming together to form NWA, and then how they ultimately fell apart. Yeah, that sounds good. And then we can go into a little more depth, talking about the characters. Like how Ice Cube is the one who writes the lyrics and is very passionate about getting a message out with his reality raps. Yeah, and how Dr. Dre is very passionate about making the music and doing it well enough to make it in his career. Who could that be? You ever notice how it's never anyone good? Sup? Oh no, not again. Imposter! I'm not an imposter, you talked to me before. I think. One of you did anyway, at the theater? Then I died? I don't remember this. Which is usually your thing. That's because you were at a pizza party in Texas. He must be from that theater full of dead usses. But how are you, you know, not dead? It's a long story. And it's one I'm not gonna buy. If you're as real a Joe as you say you are, then review. Ugh, this again? Easy e sort of brings everyone together and starts Ruthless Records. After one group turns them down, and due to Ice Cube being involved in a different group, it's up to Easy e to provide the vocals for NWA's first single, Boys in the Hood. And he's not great at it. But it's okay, he gets better. And it's also the funniest scene in the movie. Bravo, also, Joe. Bravo. I couldn't have said it any better, because I would have said it the exact same. Because you are we. So you said something about a long story? Yes. So, all the Joes in that theater were dead, and Chris made us not so. He has a good heart. Yeah, he's the best. Then he took all of us to Vince, where we are now forced to make a non-stop stream of movie reviews. Chris did that? He, he must have had his reasons. I just hope he's doing okay now. He really is great. Yeah. So is this TV Vince or real Vince? I'm sorry? Oh right, you weren't there for that. Is he on a screen or in person? Now that you mention it, yeah, he's always on a screen. So TV Vince is being bad again? I thought he was good or whatever. Well, I mean, he's not like evil. We get breaks and stuff. Good dental. But he only lets us do Vine reviews because he only cares about quantity. We don't get to do the full-length reality reviews like we used to. Reality reviews? You know, reviews that affect our reality. But listen, these Vine reviews, as stupid as they are, they have an audience. So what I'm thinking is that I sneak you guys in and we do a full-blown review and send it to Vince's Vine viewers. That sounds like an okay idea. I'm positive that Vine works that way. Projectionist powers, powers activate. And action. A surprisingly well-made action flick. John Wick is pretty. John Slick. Great. Well, not great exactly, but moving on. Next! I am super satisfied with this movie. Go see it! Ba -la 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 -la. All right, so my break is almost over. I'll take over working the camera, and then it's showtime. Got it. So how does this whole operation work? Well, there's so many of us, we just rotate out. We're constantly watching and constantly recording. There's a constant stream of content. Mass-produced reviews, basically. An assembly line of uses. <laughs> Anyway, you guys ready? Let's get this party started. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, time for your break. Thank Wally. And action! Straight Outta Compton is a movie about the group NWA and how their music affected people. Some people didn't like their music, like Lonzo, the owner of the club Dre DJs at, played by David Gabriel. I had never really heard any of their music before, but the music in the film is well produced, catchy, and impactful. Woo! Yeah, this yeah, is good! Right on! I like this! Hey, wait a minute! This isn't succinct and punny! Imposters! Hey, that's our line! I swear, one of you Joes tries to do one of your reality reviews every other day! Ugh! Vine reviews of the future! Get with it! Other Joes? Lock these guys in the B-movie chamber. The B-movie chamber? They're gonna force us to watch Jerry Seinfeld's B-movie! No! Well, that was easy enough to get out of. Well, it was us chasing us. Yeah, I wouldn't want to hurt ourselves. Also, we're lazy. Also that. But did we get on Vince's Vine page? Did our plan succeed? Let's see. Hey, I think we have the same phone. Actually, I think it's the exact same phone. How does that work? Poorly. Did you not notice we're getting charged for having more people on our plan? Can we stop reviewing Primer for a second and get back to our review of Straight Outta Compton? Alright, 
Here's the video. Straight Outta Compton is a movie about the group NWA and how their music affected people. Some people didn't like their music. Like Straight Outta Compton is a movie about the group NWA and how their music affected people. Some people didn't like their music. Like Straight Outta Compton is a movie about the group NWA and how their music affected is, people. Is that it? I guess vines don't work the way I thought. To be fair, I don't think they work exactly like they have in this review either. Can we stop being meta for a second and get back to the plot of this review? That was more meta than what I said. Wait, what's wrong with meta? I love meta. Boys, 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 let's not fight. Red, Red shirt? shirt? Dad? Dad, apparently. Yes, it is I. I reviewed your review on my cellular device and found it most entertaining, though a tad short. Have you thought about lengthening your reviews? You know I've been doing reviews for years, right? Of course! But now that I'm back in your life, I think it's about time I supported my boy. Say hello to your new producer, Red Shirt! Hello. I'm not so sure about this. No, no, this is an okay idea. Huh. Red Shirts. <laughs> While some people didn't like the music, quite a few did, including music manager Jerry Heller, played by John Adams. Jerry Heller takes the group under his wing, but pays particular attention to Easy e much to the annoyance of Ice Cube. Paul Giamatti does a nice job of being moderately skeezy. He never goes full-blown cartoon villain. He does seem to be screwing over most of them, but he also seems to legitimately care for Easy. -E. Cut! Boys, boys, boys. I'm just not feeling it. You, where's the energy? And you... Where's the insight? And Joe! Great job! So great, let's do a take with just you. That sounds like an okay idea. What? No! That's a totally un-okay idea. I'm utterly positive it's an okay idea. Shh, your face. Red Shirt has had it out for me ever since I've known him. If he sticks around, I'm out. But he's family. Ugh! Who's more family than yourself? Was that a riddle? If it was, the answer is your father. Oh, forget about him. I have a fantastic idea for a replacement. Let's review. Eventually, Cube gets tired of being messed around with by Heller and goes solo. Eventually, Dre goes solo too. Everything is going downhill. They used to be friends. Why this? Why this tragedy? Um, right. The movie does kind of blow right by them becoming famous and sort of just skips to them being famous so that they can quickly get to the group falling apart, which isn't a bad thing because it's definitely the most interesting part of the film. Cut, cut, cut. Was it me? No, you were great. Was it him? No, it was utter perfection. It was me. No, but tone it down a bit. Actually, it has nothing to do with this review. Uh huh. Come look at this atrocity. Hi, I'm Joe Heath, and this is The Alternate View. Now, I know what you're thinking. Terrible name for a show. You're thinking, don't you already have a show called The Projectionist Project? Well, I did, but it's been taken over by a dubious father figure who has way too convoluted of a backstory for someone named after a Star Trek reference that never really paid off. Unfortunately. Insolent child! The entire show has been going downhill. Too much outside interference. I miss the old days when things made sense. Now the show is riddled with at least two plot holes. Is he reviewing the review? I thought he didn't like Meta. Joe has been so concerned with incorporating Red Shirt into the mix that he forgot some important points in his Straight Outta Compton review. Like how after the group breaks up, a dissing war begins. NWA releases a song calling out Cube for leaving, which results in Cube releasing a song bashing on Jerry Heller. This back and forth song war is the most interesting, if somewhat problematic, portion of the film. While it's interesting to see how all of this progressed, they do also result in homophobia and gross name calling. The film doesn't shy away from some of the negative aspects of the group, but it also sometimes plays it off as a good thing. One example is this really nicely shot and impressive one-shot orgy sequence that ends with NWA scaring away some dudes with a whole bunch of guns. It's played for laughs, but I didn't find them threatening people with guns to be all that funny. The fact that Joe missed these informative points is proof that the Projectionist Project has gotten out of his hands, and I'm here to rein things back in. Back to basics. Old school. Because you deserve better than the current content that pitiful show produces under its current created staff. If he wants a review, I'll give him one. He has a stupid name and also a stupid face. 
You have the same name and face. You have the same name and face? Yes. Yes, I do. You're not defending him, are you? Actually, I agree with him. This isn't working out, man. I didn't break away from one dude to work for another dude. No offense. All taken. So what? You're gonna go solo too? Actually, I'm gonna produce a show. For another dude. What? Who? Live from Sweden, Texas, it's Just Joshing with Josh. And here's your host, Josh. Let's give it up for real guns, everybody. Jazz hands. Hey, that was an okay piece of music, real Vince. Yeah, I really like the bits with the poops. Thanks. I made it myself. With the help of my instruments, which I didn't make myself. Someone else did that. But I played them, and the, the notes came out. I, I didn't create the notes. I just arranged them in the order that I wanted. Pretty sure it's original but I haven't heard every song ever, so who knows? Thanks? I guess my character overly explains things, including this bit. This is complete garbage. Utterly revolting! Get Tony in here. She needs to see this and make fun of it with us. Our first guest tonight is a very talented Magi scientist and my pseudo-sister, Tony. Uh-huh. Utterly duplicitous! great to have you on the show. It's great to be here. Yeah, it's all right. If you're into that kind of thing, which I only kind I am. So, I heard you have some news for us. Extra juicy. That's right, Josh. The juiciest. As you may know, I've been involved with the Projectionist Project for a while now. As I recall, you even headlined a few arcs back in the day. Well, no more, Josh. No more. What? I'm leaving the show to pursue a solo career. Isn't everyone? So, what brought about this change of heart? To be frank, the show's gone to shit. Reviews have completely taken over Joe's life. True that. And all this fighting with himself? He's become so self-obsessed. He's neglecting his female characters, which is mostly just me. Yeah, his reviews have about as much female perspective as the straight out of Compton film. <laughs> that got a laugh? Utterly unthinkable. So are you saying what I think you're saying? I'm leaving Joe. And what caused this change of heart? Same reasons. Understandable. So what's next for Tony? I'm actually starting my own talk show, Tony Tonight, with Tony. Yeah. Turn it off. It's actually not that bad. I love that real Vince character. He's a hoot. I said turn it off! And our next guest is the lovable robot goofball, Adam. Greetings, unknown watchers. Tony's leaving me. She's clearly sexist. Not enough female characters. Pshaw. What about you? Well, she's problematic. And dead. Still counts. And what about the male characters? What about them? You've been neglecting them too, namely me. I haven't had an interesting story arc since the Not Quite Human review. That was only five reviews ago. But over two years ago. You have to increase your review output if you want people to take you seriously. I'm getting a little tired of people telling me how to do my reviews. But mostly, I'm getting tired of you. What are you implying? Not implying, straight up firing you. Utterly ridiculous. Out! Get out! Joe! Oh. See you at Christmas then. I'm all alone. What have I done? I'm so stupid. does do many things right is really terrible with foreshadowing especially involving death it lays it on so thick that it's hard to get emotionally involved because you know that a character is going to die like hey little brother things are gonna be so great for us so soon you know unless something unfortunate happens but that 
would never happen, obviously. We're just having a character cough up a lung in the middle of a scene, dismissing anyone who mentions it, and then continuing on like nothing happened. It's like the foreshadowing was just tacked on to unrelated scenes. It's a mess. Ugh, in my life. Why am I even reviewing? Good question. Your contract expired ages ago. Yeah, I know. I used to enjoy it. Still do, really. The things got weird and stressful and everything started falling apart. Tell me about it. Things at work have been the worst. Got the biggest read coming up and- Hey, we were talking about me. Wait your turn. Manners. Sorry. I just wish things could go back to the way they were. Get the gang back together. Maybe you can. It's never too late. Except for that guy. What guy? That guy. Thanks to the left. Preposterous. You've reached Just Joshing with Josh. This is Josh speaking. How may I Josh you? Hey, I want to do a movie review so epic it's going to take all of us to do it. Straight out of Compton. Are you in? You're still doing that one? Man, it takes you forever to do your reviews. But yeah, that sounds like an okay idea. I'm in. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> You get theater, Joe. I'm gonna call Alt Joe. Got it. Hello? Hey, we want to do a movie review so epic, it's going to take all of us to do it. Straight out of Compton. Are you in? Is Red Shirt involved? Is Red Shirt involved? He's dead. He's dead. He's dead? It happens. Well, since Red Shirt is out of the picture, I'm in. Cool, cool, cool. By the way, nice job on fixing that contract plot hole. Thanks for pointing it out. All right, now we need Tony and Vince. Well, Vince is Joe's anyway. I'll call Tony. I'll call Vince. Hello? Hey, we, we want to do a review. No red shirt. You in? Sure, why, why not? Cool. And hey, bring your Joe's. What, all of them? Um, yes please? Well, this whole vine thing went belly up, so fine, whatever. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Crossovers are all the rage now. Probably. Real me, cue the theme song. There's a lot of pros and cons. The acting is great, the music is great, and the film looks wonderful. The story is captivating when it's dealing with the group's fallout. As well as when it's dealing with themes of racial issues and police brutality. That being said, the film does get a bit sloppy in the script department. Especially when it comes to foreshadowing. And of course, there's the previously mentioned homophobia and sex. The movie seems to portray Dre as a really nice guy when it comes to the ladies, which seems to be glossed over his abusive past. <laughs> Did it work? I don't want to be in your review initiative. What is going on here? I have no idea. Why is he here? Cameoing. Where the hell am I? I don't know about you, but I'm in hell. Is this the projectionist project? It was. Not sure what it is now. Sure is exciting though. That's okay. Mostly just weird. It's weird. It's weird. No, no, no. This is impossible. This, this isn't real. I, I created all of this. Hey, the only god here is Wally. I created him too. I, I wrote and filmed all of this. Well, not this bit, but what are you trying to say? I'm the real Joe. 
Not this again. No, really, I am. This is all sort of based on my real life. But no one's life is really so heavily affected by the plots of the movies you review. So you're the true projectionist? Well, I'm not actually a projectionist anymore. I haven't been for a few years now. Also, my dad is like super awesome. And I don't have a twin sister. It doesn't work like that in real life. Wait, so you wrote yourself in the this review? That's weird. No, that's the thing. I didn't. I have no idea what's happening. We, we can, can explain, explain that. Chris? Chris? And someone, and someone else? else? That's Jez. Yes, I am Jez, and I'm the Rio. And I'm not the Chris you know. I'm a Chris from an alternate universe. Oh. Only oh. oh, joking. Yeah, I'm the Chris you know. And love. You work for the reality police? Yeah, my on again, off again dance studio is off again. Plus, I was bored, and my shows were on hiatus. And you just fixed the other plot hole. Nice. I didn't write this. Why are you here? I don't understand what's going on. Everyone was just supposed to review, and that was the end of it. Oh, it's going to the end, all right. All this review just is overloading wall and causing reality to crack. We've been keeping an eye on you guys to make sure everything remains stable. And everything is not stable, so we're going to have to order you to stop reviewing. We've got an official letter and everything. Let me see that. Give it. Guys, this looks pretty legit. It looks okay. You can't make us stop reviewing, we just got it going again. Reality will be destroyed, don't be an idiot. Although, it would be fun to watch. Give us a moment to talk this over. Okay. <sighs> so, what do you guys think? My science knowledge leads me to believe that a review might actually cause all of the universes to merge, not explode. And then, everyone would get to hang out, and we could all have tiny adventures, and wear tiny hats, and costumes, and have sleepovers! Yeah, maybe don't stop reviewing. That sounds like an okay idea. I'm in. Yeah, F the reality police. That's a bit harsh, but yeah, basically. Real Joe? Still not entirely convinced this isn't a hallucination brought on by making too many of these damn reviews. So do what you want. Oh, f*** this, I'm getting out of here. So what's the verdict? Projectionist powers activate! Holy damn it. So all in all, straight Hello. up has and uh, goodbye. entertaining and thought provoking. Go see. So what did you think? You wrote yourself into the review. That's, that was really weird. What? No, no, it, it's a fitting into the show because like everything comes together and, and it, it's, you know. Whoa. My back?